We found some stuff wrapped around the prop and there are tons and tons of barnacles actually down there as well. So I'm gonna go in for a little little swim and uh, see if we can't clean some of that stuff out because it's, it's, it's kind of a, I don't know, that's a worrisome thing to have something wrapped around the prop. It looks like it's a piece of tape or something. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'll know when I pull it out, but I have to be careful pulling it out. We just got these sail drives serviced. Just got them done, all new seals and and all that stuff and now oh, i have to go down there i sure hope that the seal isn't messed up i did check the oil level in the sail drive and it's fine so if you've got egress that level will actually go up because you get water in there and it'll push the oil up none of that going on i'm hoping that thing will just sort of unravel but we had a bad shutter on our way in when we came back from our training cruise and yes, we've been through all this hassle to replace the L exhaust elbows and turbos on the engine. And that's okay because that totally needed to get done. But I think it's possible that this shutter may have been from that piece of tape as well. Not to mention there's tons of barnacles. So I have this guy, which I'm going to be using to scrape off the barnacles. And uh, you've got... Um, this came from like a drugstore, so we are not equipped for this yet. We haven't really, we just haven't gotten there yet, right? So we've been, just been doing triage on everything. So here we go. We'll give this thing a try. This is just, this is just silly time, actually. But this is how you learn. It'll work. It'll work. It should now. work. Yeah. It's how you learn. You got to do it. And then when everything goes wrong, then you figure out how to make it better. So yep. <laughs> that's where we are. Our stay at the Safe Harbor LMC was quickly coming to an end. We had lots of small tasks to complete before heading north for the summer. Although our insurance didn't require us to be north, we would like to spend time in Annapolis and get to know that area better. So, um, yeah, here we go, I guess. Huh? <laughs> well, I just keep the tools, um, yeah, if you want, I can hand them to you. That one. The other side has a ladder, so I might have to swim over to the other side to get out. I'm gonna get in there and get get going. And if you think, I think if you could use the ladder, that'd be great. I got this thing. I can try to get out. You might be wondering why Franny is getting into this nasty looking flood and debris filled water. As we prepare to go north, we want to check the underside of the boat, the rudders, and the props. So is that not working for you? Do you want me to see if there's another one? It just it, I breathe out of it and it just stops. It just locks up. I can't get any air out of it. It's scary. Look what we found. We found this guy floating in the water, probably from the floods. It's just like, I don't know, like a month ago? I don't know how he survived all this time, but. Okay, here we go. Even though we are at a marina, it's important to have a diver down flag when somebody is diving on your boat. We do have a diver down flag, but you just can't see it. I didn't film it. Okay. How's it going? Uh, How you doing? It's gross and it's super crusty. Yeah. So, it's so dark down there too, I can barely see a thing. Yep. Okay. Okay, now I go. Okay. How you doing? Uh, Cold? Uh, oh, just a little scared. It's a little scary. Yeah. My legs starting to really lock up, man. Your legs are locking up? Yeah. How much more do you need to do right now? I'm pretty much done. I need to inspect the rudders on both sides. Oh, you're doing inspections. Well, do you want me to take the pieces of equipment that you have then? No, I'll hold on to it. Okay. Yeah, but if you feel like your legs are locking up from like muscle tension, we should yeah, probably come out. Over. I won't be in here much longer. Okay. Okay. Sounds go. good. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Boy, those props were crusty. Super crusty. They were really bad, man. They were really covered. And then this sail drive on this side was really bad too. Good news is both rudders are still with us. So they're they're doing well. We rescued a, a lizard. Yes. So that's a plus. Yes. Um, so and he's actually alive. I wasn't sure if he was, yeah. but I saw the little flick of the yep. tongue just like a snake. He's going to have a little better day today, I think, than, uh, than uh, it yep. started out. So, yep. anyway.
it's time for me to get in the shower. It's gross here, but I saw a guy go by on a jet ski, so it can't be too super duper bad, but yeah. it's just gross, so All right. I'm a little cold okay. too, so. Why don't you hand me the lizard? I'll take care of him. All right. All right. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Oh. I need to carry him like that. I want you to take him ashore. Okay. We'll take him ashore. It's just enjoying the sunshine. It's definitely alive. Um, at least for now. <laughs> Let's see if we can extend his life span a little longer. Two hours later. So he split. Yay. services we are upgrading our life raft the life raft that we currently have is no longer being serviced in the United States so what does that mean well we still want to be safe and we want everybody else that's on the boat with us to be safe so we are upgrading our life raft to a superior and so we're looking forward to having the new life raft so we just um, swapped it out they took our old one and we will have a brand new one for our boat. So we're super excited about that. So we've had a lot going on. We hired an instructor to help train us a couple of weeks ago. So in the process with the sailing instructor, there was some talk about how our boat was rigged. And we talked about the running rigging. So what we thought we would do was actually get a better setup. The lines were original, at least we believe they were original. And so we wanted to swap everything out and just do all new running rigging. Here's our wonderful running rigging that we got replaced. Yeah, it looks great. It looks yeah. absolutely beautiful. So we have all new lines. These are the Traveler. This is our main sheet. This is the port jib sheet. Starboard jib sheet is the white and green there on the block. You can see them going up to the to the Genoa up there. And we got lots of stuff. We got a new topping lift. We got a new jib halyard. All sorts of stuff. Well, our next big task is going to be, unfortunately, the standing rigging. So this is a double spreader rig up here. And our diamonds up there have got some issues with the swage fittings. So they're going to have to swap those out and replace them. So that's going to be a big deal. We also have a, I can't see it from here, but we have a broken VHF antenna all the way at the top. So that's another thing. And I'm going to try and replace the VHF cable as well. The Riggers invite Franny to go to the top of the mast. And it's a great opportunity because neither one of us have ever done it before. And it's a great way to learn and understand how we can get up there and do that. If we ever need to inspect anything or fix anything, it's a great opportunity to make sure that we're doing it correctly. Back from the okay. Back strap. So if you guys need to go up the mast, that's what yeah. we're going to set up. Okay. So, uh, don't, don't sit. Don't sit. Don't, don't, don't. Uh, <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I'm going to just take you up just a couple feet real quick. That way you can just get comfortable. Yeah, now you can sit. That back strap get tighter? No, yeah, it does uh, get tighter. I can, I can yeah, make, make it tighter. tighter. I like you. I'm sorry. It's like a little bit. It's like a ride at Disney World. Franny has no fear of heights, so this is perfect for her. She will have a heyday. Okay, just go go slow so she can get used to what you're doing when she yeah, comes right, down. Is your safety off? All right, coming down. Coming down. Next. 
No, no way. Uh-uh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Safety off. Whoa. Yep. Sometimes you spin. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was very nice of you guys to allow her yeah, to do thank that. You very much. Very that cool. Was fun. If you like this content, consider subscribing to our channel. If you want real time updates and benefits, consider another level and become a patron. It really helps us out. Good morning. The riggers are here today. It's uh, the last day for their visit. They've been here for three days total, part of last week and part of this week. And the final step is going to be putting up the sail. We are very excited. Uh, they are they have fixed our sail so that we can make it north to Annapolis. There was a, a rip in it um, at the very top, so that was a good thing to, to fix. And I think the, the batten pockets had come out. So I'm going to watch them get the battens back in, put the sail up and get it all set up and I'll try to film a little bit for you so that you can see what's going on. I'm super excited because things are finally coming together. We've had a lot of work done on the boat. We have also, we as being maybe more the royal we or the singular we of Franny has done a lot of work on the boat. All right, so, <laughs> all right, this is the pin on our boom or pimple or whatever you call it. The boom has fallen a bit here and that's not good. So what happened was there were a set of washers in here and they are gone. They, I guess they don't last very long and then toast. And that allowed this entire yoke to fall. And we've got a gap here. The bushing is falling down. And this thing up here, the actual pin, just has a hole in the top of it, has fallen down so far that even with the nut tight, there's, there's like a quarter inch gap under here. So that's totally not cool. So we have a new part. This is the new part from Sea Spars. It's completely different. It's, it's machined. It's beautiful actually. Nice stainless steel piece. And the most important part is this shoulder up here, which will keep it from falling through, which is what's happening with this one. So all I had to do was call or actually just email Z Spars and this is an upgrade. They did this on the Tanas and ours is the Sayona. So the newer models all have this on it. So they just sent it out for free. So what I need to do, I've got a series of washers in here and we're gonna, we're gonna pull this pin out, replace it with a new one and put in our washers and shim it so that, so that we're, we're in the proper place here. I've got the spinnaker halyard here tied around the boom. It's all the way up there, comes back down here, down there, and it's tied off on that winch over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna put some serious tension on this guy and lift this boom up because we've got to get the entire weight of the boom supported by the halyard before we can pull this pin. Otherwise we pull it and the whole the boom's gonna drop and we don't want that. So uh, that's where we are. So um, gonna introduce your assistants? Yes, yes. <laughs> right. So our lovely assistants this evening. Simon? Yes. <laughs> Yay. And then Stuart. Stuart. <laughs> Hello. The concept here is that we don't want the boom moving forward because that's probably exactly what it will want to do is to move forward, which will make it hard. So this, this should hold it out a little bit, at least enough of it, so it doesn't ram in there and smash into um, our mount here. Yeah, we're definitely up. Oh, there was a washer in there. It's just seen better days. Ow, it crammed itself up into the up into the yoke here. All right, well, we can take this nut off. So you're saying there was actually a washer in there? There is actually a washer. It just, I can see it here. Can you see it here, Heidi? Can you uh, see the, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can see the washer. I can see it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just, so okay. it just ran itself up into the aluminum. Well, that's it. It's out. I think that wash, this washer here at the top. Yeah. I think that's a part of the whole. Assembly. It might be right, and it might be part of that bushing. I think you're right about that. 
I think it's the same for both of them. Yep, I think you're right. And the other one, the problem is that it's just worn the aluminum down to the point where it's done. Every picture I've seen of this thing though, it has a washer. They put a washer in it. And maybe it did have a washer and it's gone. Don't want us to pry it so that you can just slide it right in? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get the wash on it. You know what I think, maybe we just line it up on the top. Don't worry about a washer on the top, right? Because it's gonna be, I'm mean, gravity fed, right? So yeah. it's gonna be held down by gravity. So yeah, let's try to get the pin in from the top. So I've got some tough gel here. First of all, I wanna make sure we wanna kinda of test this stuff. I got all sorts of different types of washers because we didn't know what it was. Can we try lowering it down just at the smidgen? Locks open. Got it. <laughs> yeah, it's feeling better. Might, here, I'm gonna lock it off at this point. Okay. Yeah, it's moving. Oh, it fell in between. It did? Yeah. That's why we're having so much problem with the pry bar. You're 100% right about that. But you know, if, you, if we ram the halyard up just a little bit, that'll pull the cars up. You'll have to crank it a bit because we got to take up the slap. Oh, you know what? Hold on a second. I got an idea. We don't need to pull the sail up. We just need to pull the halyard up. So let me let me take off this soft shackle here, and then now the halyard is in the right spot. So go ahead and give that a try now. Go ahead and crank a bit on the halyard. Just need to go up another two inches at the most. This is probably kind of bad. You were free. So you got that it. That's good. good. Got okay. It. Right on. Okay. Now we, can now we need to pull the boom back so it doesn't fall down in that hole again. Yeah. Way easier now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's a lot better. So, give me to do the prying so you can drop oh, it in. Oh yeah, drop the pin in. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Oop. That's all right. It's gonna try to go that way. Okay, it's got to come back. Um, it's the holes right there. And yeah. We need and our pin is here, so we need to move it back that far. Worry about it popping out. Yeah, it really wants to pop. Pulling it sort of. How are we doing? Good, we're still about, only about halfway. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you, our pushing fell through. What do you need? We need to move the boom back. Can you lift it? And pull it backwards, aft. Can you sure? I don't know, what does it look like on your side? We're losing it. There. Okay, so question is, do we want to put a washer down there because this, this pushing goes all the way up into the... Probably. And so that's where we were, where we were thinking, yeah, because I can see the pin there. It certainly was a bit of a fuss to get that pin in, but it's been working great ever since. Join us next time when we take on crew to help us travel up the East Coast from Florida all the way to our final destination, Annapolis, Maryland. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, safe travels.